guys, today I wanna show you guys how I prep my skin for makeup. Now, uh, I know makeup is kind of like a tedious process, you know, for us to do and like, you know, we wash our face with like, and we put moisturize and all that, you know, but however, it's good to have at least a skincare routine uh, before you put on makeup because the makeup can like glide on smoothly as you go along. Today, however, guys, I'm gonna show you how I prep my skin for my makeup. Um, I do have oily skin, so um, maybe some of these products may work for you that I have like right here uh, to show you guys. Maybe they won't, I don't know. It's for you uh, to judge on, but these are what, um, these are products that I like using and they actually kind of work for my skin and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started, shall we? The first thing that I do is that I shave. I mean, I shave because um, I'm a man. So, um, and when I shave, you know, I pat dry my skin down with water. I also shave my brows and the bottom. And once my face is like completely dry, I go in with the ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2%. I go in with this because this is meant for people who have really severe acne scars and whatnot. And I've had this for like, Mm, I think since December, I think. And I try it out and it really does work. It works for my skin. I will say though that it it can burn, but it's not like a burn burn on your skin. It's kind of like a, like a tingling effect because it is a peeling solution. It's a chemical uh, exfoliant. So it does like exfoliate your skin like in a chemical way. And a, yeah, and it really does work for people who have acne pro skin and like acne scars that they want to at least try and heal. So I do recommend this product. Another quick reminder about this product. Um, don't leave this on no more than 10 minutes. It says in the instructions too not to leave this on no more than 10 minutes. Um, because if you leave it on, it's, it is gonna start burning. I've never done it, but like it, it will cause problems if you leave it on longer. And also, um, Use this like once every week. That's what it says in the instructions to use it, is to use it every once every week. Or you can do like me and do it every two weeks. I sometimes do that. I sometimes do it every two weeks. Um, but um, once every week, you can use this. So you should use this. And I do recommend this product. For a cleanser that I like using, I like using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Watermelon Jelly Cleanser. I do like this cleanser because it's a lightweight cleanser. Then this cleanser, it does have a scent of watermelon. Like it smells like that old 90s, 2000s, like watermelon candy. Like it really smells really great. And uh, the packaging is really nice too. It's like this really nice, like reddish pinkish kind of magenta thing. And it's what I like too. So what I do with this cleanser is that I open it and it's a squeeze tube. What I do is that I take about a quarter size of it. About that much. Sometimes I'll do a little bit more, not too much, just a little bit more. And I'll rub it around my hands and I'll just, I'll just like go everywhere across the face and go under the jawline. I don't really go all the way down to the neck cause like, unless you want to do that, you can't do that. I like going everywhere across the face. It says you, it is safe to go under the eyes with it. So you can do that. I personally don't do that. Um, but you can do that as well. Since I'm kind of done like cleansing my skin, um, I do it for about, you know, at least two minutes to cleanse my skin. Cause again, this is a lightweight cleanser. I'm going to like go to my bathroom, go to my sink and wash this off. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm soaking wet. <laughs> so of course I'm soaking wet, but I just want to demonstrate this with you. When you wash the cleanser off your face, I like to take a towel. It can be like a medium sized towel. It can be like a little rag or like um, a body towel. But I like using a medium sized rag. And I'm just gonna pat dry over, everywhere around the face. Just pat dry it. And my skin, my skin at least, it feels tight, sort of ish. And it kind of, and it feels clean because I don't like. I haven't like done a lot with my skin really. So like, yeah, but this is like a really good cleanser. I get a lightweight cleanser for you to use when you're about to prep for makeup. The next thing that I do when it comes to prepping for makeup 
is moisturizing. So I love using the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer. I really, really, really do enjoy this moisturizer because it has certain oils in there that like work really well when it comes to like getting prepped for makeup and like getting your skin like getting your skin ready. So like this really good. I was hesitant to get this because of the oils in here, but for me having very oily skin, this really does work. I, I really do like um, recommend this product for anyone with oily skin. I really, really do. It's a very versatile product. You can even use this as primer if you'd like. So I really do recommend this. Uh, the pump here, it like disperses very little product. So I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, that was like two pumps. I like to do seven, so because I do have a bigger face, so I like to use at least seven pumps of this. But if you have like a smaller face, you can definitely do like very less pumps. Rub this around my hands. And now I'm just going to put this all over from my face to my jawline. Literally just do that. I'm going into the eyes too, a little bit to moisturize my eyes a little bit. Because this product is eye safe, so. Next step that I do, I do use a serum when it comes to makeup. I do use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. I do like using this. This is in the uh, 60 milliliter bottle, I believe. I do like this uh, this for a serum because like this really does like hide my pores in a sense or at least minimizes them. And this is really good for people who have really acne prone skin and like very oily skin. So I really, really, really do um, recommend this for everyone who does have acne prone and oily skin. Also, when it comes to taking the pipette, please do not like go all over your face with it. This is what I do. I take the pipette and I kind of just squeeze it into the bottle just to get some product out of it. And with this, I like to just go squirt straight to my hand like that. And then what I like doing is rub it against my hands very lightly. And then I just pat it into the face. I kind of swipe it too, but very gently. Very gently put this around the face. And I put a little bit on the eyes too because it doesn't irritate my eyes, but just a little bit. So I kind of let this dry. I also let the moisturizer dry a little bit too before even doing the serum, so I'm just gonna let this dry completely before before I get into the primer. Now that I have my uh, serum on, I'm now gonna go in with primer. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I do like using this because it's a really good primer to like put on your face before you even uh, do your makeup because it does get like a really sticky base. Last time I checked on the e.l.f. website, this was sold out. But there is another one that's in their mint uh, collection that is the same thing as this, except it's supposed to give a more cooling effect. Um, I did order some uh, just to give sort of a review on it. You know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a review on that primer, maybe just to see how it works. But this primer I really do like because it is sticky, a uh, sort of base. So what I like to do, I like to take at least three pumps of this primer, two to three pumps at least, that's really all you need. You don't need any more than that, at least, for any primer, especially with this primer. I like to rub it around my hands. I like to pat it onto the skin. Pat, don't rub around. If you rub, your, if you rub it around, you're gonna drag your skin. Um, so just pat it into the skin. Make sure it's like seeping into your skin. That's how you know if a sticky primer sort of works, is that if you press it into the skin and see if it has like, any like beneficial effect when it comes to putting on your makeup application so and that's essentially it that's normally what i do for um my prepping of makeup and whatnot um and again i do have oily skin so these products really work for me at least uh if you have oily skin or like acne prone skin um these products may work for you too so i do recommend checking these out too so yeah i'll just put on my makeup and uh i'll be right back and here is the final look i hope you guys found this very informational very hopefully useful you know to in some cases that of uh, your skincare routine maybe Maybe some of the products that I mentioned, maybe they would work for you. I don't know personally. 
um but hopefully they will work hopefully <laughs> maybe i should do another video of me like i mean like taking off my makeup maybe i should do that hmm. we'll see we'll see about that <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and um i'll see you guys later bye